Good morning, everyone. I am Larry Levanka, your party host of sorts for the next 20 minutes as we count it down to commencement 2017, the biggest day of the academic year. Like I said, the NFL has the Super Bowl, and we have today. And if you've been following us for the last few years, this pre-show will not only help it count down to the big day, but you'll be introduced to one of the most amazing people that is going to speak today at commencement. So, when you think of a valedictorian, you think of a, a college student, right? Well, the valedictorian of the Bergen Community College class of 2017 is no traditional student. She is here with me right now. She has an amazing story. You might have seen it in the record this morning. Her name is Marilyn Heiner, and she is the valedictorian of the class of 2017, a 4.0 GPA, the number one student. Marilyn, what's going through your head right now? I'm almost speechless. To me, this whole thing is surreal. When I first was notified that I was a candidate for valedictorian, I was awestruck. And then when Dr. Molini came into my classroom one day and announced that I was the valedictorian, it's surreal, absolutely surreal. I cannot believe that this is happening. It's a dream come true. And also, at MetLife Stadium, which is, was my home away from home for so many Sundays, so many days, so many travelings with my husband. And so let's get into that. Let's get into that. You're here at the home of the New York football giants, and that's no ordinary, no normal backstory for you. Not at all. My husband was a season ticket holder since 1956, and we used to travel during the 70s and early 80s we traveled with the Giants. We were known as Mr. and Mrs. Superfan, and wherever you saw the Giants, you saw us. And I went to 180 straight. My husband went to 305. I stopped when our daughter was born, and then I had a new chapter in my life. But today, she will be here, and she is the proud owner of the tickets at this time. Just amazing, just amazing. So tell us about your academic journey. As I said at the, the top here, obviously you're, you're a non-traditional student, right? Um, how, how do you end up going back to school uh, and earning your degree here today? Well, I would say that after my husband passed in 2010, a co-worker of mine encouraged me. She said, come on and join me. I need company. And that's what I did. And she wanted me to come back to Bergen Community College. So I registered for one class, studied hard, I got my A, and I felt encouraged. And I said, I can do this. And so one class a semester, because I work with infant and toddlers, I felt that was what I could do. And class by class, class by class, I still got my A's, and here I am. What was the experience like going back to school, uh, you know, college kids, a lot of people a lot younger, all that. What, what was it like? Your, how did your faculty treat you? How did, how did the rest of the students treat you? I would say amazing. I went in the evening, first of all, where there were more older folks. I don't, not as old as I am, but older folks. And you're not that old. No, well, no. no, no, not anymore. It's, age is just a number. And the professors enjoyed us enjoyed the people that were back really, really serious about their studies. And I also had several co-workers with me in every single class. And we supported one another. And we encouraged one another. And if one got down, the other one just encouraged. And we just kept going. And uh, two of my co-workers and their, my true friends are graduating with me today. They had a few more classes than I did. They caught up. They doubled up just so that we could all be here today together. Talk about that, the support. Obviously, you have friends, you have family. I'm sure you're thinking about your husband today. W what support got you to the point you are today? I would say, first of all, my coworkers. Uh, because we were there, we were experiencing it on a week-by-week, semester-by-semester basis. Uh, I have a friend, Susan, who every single day we email she supported me. She said, I am so proud of you. I look up to you. And her encouragement every single day gave me confidence in myself that I can do this. Somebody was there. My sister is always there for me. 
always she will always be there she's not here today because of health issues but she will always be in my heart you've been busy right uh, we, we we talked about we talked about the front page of the record this morning and the sports section terrific column by Tara Sullivan uh, you've been doing other interviews you also had a little surprise visit today by uh, the special teams contingent of the New York Giants Zach Diasi and Brad Wing I mean w w talk about that again speechless I am just awestruck first of all when they came the tears started again because of my close ties, my close love of the Giants. And just to see them, and they presented me with flowers and this wonderful, wonderful shirt with my name on it and a number one. That'll be a treasure for the rest of my life. And of course, then I'll give it to my daughter and she will take it on with her. Do you want to give us a little preview of your speech, some of the things you're going to touch on? I'm sure that uh, you know we've hit a few of them so far, I but- them. And I think my whole theme today is that I would like to encourage somebody to go back to school if they are thinking about it. You know, you don't, as I am saying, I'm not a teenager, I'm not a 20 year old, but I'm, in quotes, a, a mature person. And I, I'm just saying to somebody, if you are thinking about it, do it. You owe it to yourself and give it a try. And we could all be in the same circumstance. I know, in fact, I just saw a neighbor recently who I went through my whole story and whatnot, and she looked at me and she said, you know, I've been thinking about going back to school. You're my inspiration. And if that doesn't make you feel good, and that's my mission today, is to encourage at least one person to think about, of all, maybe we have 10,000 here today. If one person could, then I feel my mission is accomplished. And we hope she'll come to Bergen Community College if of she course, does decide to come back. What's next for you? You know, we think about a, a, a traditional college student, you know, maybe they're gonna transfer, enter a career. Obviously you have a different mindset. Well, I've been working with infant and toddlers for 22 years. And of course I will stay with them. They're part of my life now. Right now I'm taking a respite. And more than likely I will continue, but I just need that moment of taking all of this in, absorbing this, regrouping, so to speak, and then take it from there. That, that's my thought. Anybody else you want to give a shout out to? Any kind of, any final thoughts here as we're getting ready and we're counting it down to commencement? My daughter, my daughter Jennifer, who will always be my, the light of my life. Um, she went to the Super Bowl with Daddy when, and Green Bay and all of that. And everybody was freezing, everybody right? Was Poor Tom freezing. Coughlin's face, right? Oh, unbelievable. And they just experienced it. So, I mean, I'm just so thrilled that they had that time together. And now she is carrying on the legacy of the giant tickets and that I'm eternally great. But she, as I said, she's the light of my life. Well, Marilyn, thank you very much for being with us uh, here on the pre-show today. Congratulations on behalf of the college. Uh, you certainly deserve everything that is coming to you. Thank you so much. Good luck in your speech. Thank you. And of course, Marilyn is just one of the many stories that is emanating from Burton Community College's 48th annual commencement ceremony. Of course, this is our second year at MetLife Stadium. For years and years, we were just over the way at the IZOD Center, but now that has closed. So we are here at MetLife, of course, the home of the New York Giants, the New York Jets, and all kinds of other events, Bruce Springsteen, WrestleMania, all kinds of things. So really, this is a big venue for what is a very big day for our students. We will have more than 2,000 students in the class of 2017. And you know what? That's good enough to make Bergen Community College number one in the state of New Jersey for three consecutive years. And we expect that that streak will continue. It's very important for a student not only to come to Bergen, but get through, graduate, and then get transferred into a four-year school or begin a career. So what else is gonna go on today at commencement? You're gonna see a lot of speakers. You're gonna see our keynote, Jermaine Ortiz, who is a former Bergen Community College trustee and a current Bergen, uh, Bergen County freeholder. And that is the first 
free holder in the history of Bergen Community College. So history is being made there today with Jermaine Ortiz delivering the keynote address. Jermaine is a wonderful free holder. She was a terrific trustee, and I'm sure she will have a wonderful message for our students here today. So talking about our students, we also have two students here today who won the Jack Kent Cook Foundation Scholarship. Now, you're saying, what does that mean? Is that a, is that a big deal? Yeah, you bet it is. Those students will receive $40,000, yes, $40,000 for college. There are two of only 55 in the entire United States that have received that very prestigious scholarship. And if that isn't enough, they're going to get $50,000 if they go on to graduate school. So uh, those two students, Daniela Liberto and Nadia Vasso, will be here in attendance today. We talked about how Marilyn is a 4.0 student, and Daniela and Nadia are 4.0 students as well. Well, we have 74 of them in all. I mean, isn't that incredible? I mean, you may have been a good student in college. I was a good student in college, but I didn't have a 4.0. So that is something that is really impressive and something that those students really deserve a big pat on the back for. Of course, we have students that are enrolled in our Phi Theta Kappa chapter, which is uh, the Honor Society of two-year schools. They will be here today as well. And we have one of the finest Phi Theta Kappa chapters in the entire world. They've been ranked in the top 100 for the past few years. So that's really impressive in that respect as well. We also have our Turning Point students. Turning Point program assists intellectually disabled students and helps them get on a path for success, which really that's what we're trying to do for all of our students. The Turning Point students, they will be here today as they begin their next chapter as well. So let's go over some of the other news that's coming from the college. I told you before that we are number one in the state of New Jersey for associate degree graduates. And you know, how important is that? Uh, also. One of those Phi Theta Kappa students that I was talking about earlier in those global top 100 chapters, Amanda Karpinski. She is the international president of the entire organization, the first in Bergen history to do that. So really impressive there. And you know, the, the, the hits just keep on coming for Bergen. We sent a drone, well, kind of. It was a hot air balloon to the moon last year. Literally, we have pictures from outer space. There are very few community colleges in the entire country that are doing that kind of work, and that's because of our STEM students who are doing that. We have students that uh, just placed first in the Rutgers Business Case Competition. They will be here today, too. That's the second year in a row that Bergen students have won that award. The college's newsletter just won an award for being best in the country. I mean, pretty amazing, some of the great stuff that's coming from Bergen these days. Uh, we talk about the value of a college degree, right? We talk about when a student graduates, what can they do with it? Well, Bergen found out this year that graduates rank number 11 in the entire country for mid-career salaries, according to pay scale. So, of course, uh, you want to make a lot of money coming out of college, and it's not the only thing that we use to measure success, but it certainly is a good one, and our students are doing really well with it. Uh, who else will you hear today? Of course, you will see our president, Dr. B.K. Walter. She will be the MC for today. She will lead the ceremony. Professor Joan Tashern will serve as the Grand Marshal, and she will call everybody to order. As we are counting down, we're just minutes away now, so you're going to see her very soon. County Executive Mr. Jim Tedesco will be here. He will offer remarks. The chair of the Bergen County Freeholders, Tracy Zor, she will offer remarks as well, and she will be here. The chair of our Ber Bergen Community College Board of Trustees, Carol Otis, she will also offer remarks. And finally, the SGA president, David Delizio, he will offer remarks as well. So if you're following us, don't forget Instagram. There's a hashtag, Bergen Grad. Post your photos, show what's going on in your parties and your celebrations. This entire ceremony will be up on YouTube later this week. We've also got photos going to Flickr, join on Facebook. Look, you know the deal. It's a social environment. Everybody's on there. Everybody's on the social media. Get on there, share it, make the day really exciting for you. But of course, you can't bury the lead on a day like this, right? And um, it's a little hot. I hope I don't look like uh, Richard Nixon during the Kennedy debates and, and sweating here, but it is hot today, my, my friends. But the Bergen Community College class of 2017 will not break a sweat. From Bergen Community College, it's hot. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go find some shade. It's time for commencement 2017.